Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I am here with a Michaels haul. Now, some of you might say that I said I wasn't going to Michaels this month, but they they got me. They got me. I was cleaning out my receipts and I found two of the five dollar coupons. So I'm thinking, oh, so you only have to spend five dollars to spend these coupons. Well, I guess I can go there and I'm not really spending. I go in there and I get $10 for free. Of course, that's how they get you in there to get more stuff. So I can see spending another $10 or so just to even it out to $10 that I spent there. I'll match what they give me. They give me $10, then I'll spend $10. And I won't feel so bad. And it's helping me get through the month. So now you guys can... Yeah. Well, I'm not going to make any excuses. I just went there. <laughs> I just snuck out. Well, I didn't sneak. Okay. I just went there. Okay, I shouldn't feel bad for doing something that I really love to do. But I do feel bad because I don't like telling myself something and then going against it. But I always give myself a little wiggle room because I never say never. Anyhow, I went there and um, this is what, like I said, I was cleaning up. I found two of the $5 coupons. I'm like, oh, whoa. And you have to spend these this weekend? Well, I definitely have to go and try that. Then I kept waiting. On, no. I found them earlier in the week, and then I was waiting. I'm like, uh, when's a good day to go? No, just don't go. Just don't go. Just let them pass by. You don't need to save $10 or whatever because you're going to spend more money. Just let it pass. And then to top it off, yesterday morning, they sent me a coupon for an extra 20% off of your total purchase, including sale. So once they did that, it's kind of hard. It's like they knew that I was teeter-tottering back and forth about going <laughs> and then they s sent me that um coupon in my email and i think they sent it on my phone too and i had to go there was nothing that gonna stop me from going to michael's so anyhow i was ready to go you know i had been in the house most of the week because it's been raining a lot here and um okay sorry about that lost my train of thought because somebody called me but anyhow um so yeah once they sent that 20 percent off it was a done deal um and I was on my way to Michael's. So anyhow, this is the stuff that I got. I ended up getting this house. I mean house. This bird cage. These blades were on clearance for $1.50. And I have some of those cutting machines. So I got those. Um, I got, they have pop dots for a dollar. Now, I've been holding off on getting them because for some reason Hobby Lobby haven't, hasn't been having sales on their adhesive. Or if they do, I've been missing them. So, I've been wanting to get some of these dots for a long, long while. So, they had these for a um, dollar. They have a new Studio G section with papers in it. They have pop dots. They have the runners, the little um, glide uh, tape runners. Um, they have a lot of good stuff over there. So they had these dots, and I'm going to try them out and see how they were. Um, I ended up getting four of these, which were like $0.80 cent a piece if you count the coupon. So I got four packs of those because I really, really needed those. Um, and then these are the Studio G papers that I was talking about. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, they, I, they had it in pink, green, and lime green. But I just, oh, and blue. But I just got the pink and blue. Then I've been wanting these. This is basically what I went there for. Because I was kind of, I know they weren't on sale this week. But I was kind of trying to um, utilize my coupon and just think of it as like $2 off. I was going to total up that $10 and be like $2 off of each pack. But um, yeah, it ended up being that. Plus it ended up being that 20% off. So I guess they were on sale. I ended up getting these gardenias. Well, that's what I'm going to call them. Because that's what they look like to me. And then I got them in the blue, pink, and then I got them in the cream another day. I'm sorry, somebody wants to keep calling me. Okay, sorry about that. My husband is at the grocery store and he keeps calling me. So, um, these butterflies I've been dying to get. Um, I told you guys I ended up trying to take me like, recollection flowers when in the can. And try to make some flowers out of it. But yeah, that didn't work. It just got all stuck in my punch. And then I've been waiting for these to go down in price. And they were $0.80. Cent. So I got my one of my favorite girls, Audrey. 
And then my other favorite girl, Marilyn. I picked up some of these keys that were a dollar. And like this antique brass looking color. Um, I got this uh, alcohol ink fillable pen. I don't even know what it does, but I think I saw a video on it and wanted it once. And since it was on clearance for a dollar something, I took it. Um, these were only 99 cents. And I thought these would be cute on flowers. 99 cents. I thought those would be cute for flower centers as well. And then here's two things that I thought would be cute as flower centers. And if they go down from 99 cents, I'll probably go back and it's like on a stretchy thing. But it's two of them. If they go down any more than 99 cents, then I'll get a lot of them. Another key. I have keys, but I've never gotten those before. And then, I don't know, this was a dollar of magnetic tape. A dollar for a roll of magnetic tape. So I got this maybe to put inside of my boxes and stuff as closure. And then I got this little bird. I want to put, I hope she's not too big. Uh-oh. I hope she's not too big because I want to put her or include her in, I think, that birdhouse that's opened up on the side. So I hope that she's not too big. And if not, I'll find something for her to do. But she was so cute. They had it in purple. I was going to get that one too, but I was like, nah. And then I got this one. The wooden um, veneers or wooden pieces. So that was my Michaels haul. Um, and yeah, I went up to the register and, you know, I have my coupons all out, my 40% off, my 20% off, and my two $5 offs. Now, we know that, that it says that the coupons cannot be combined, but they always combine. If you have a 20% off your total, they usually combine that with a 40% and say that you can use them both in one transaction. But for some reason, the girl was like, oh, you can only use one coupon, so you can either use the 20% off or you can use one of your five dollar off and i'm thinking like i just made a trip up here 20 minutes thinking i'm about to get ten dollars off my order because it says it cannot be combined with another offer but i would think that means that 40 percent or something like that if those things if i thought it was like cole's cash or something you spend every fifty dollars you spend they give you ten dollars and then you can use all your ten dollars all together that's what I thought they were doing. Every $25 or whatever you spend, you get your $5. And then when you get, if you have 15 of them or 20 of them, $20 worth, you can use them all together. But I guess it wasn't like that. So I got up to the register and I have all my stuff and I'm ready with my coupons. She said, you can only use one. So I said, mm, yeah, I don't think that that's what, I mean, you can use a 20 and a 40. She's like, no, you can only use one. So I said, okay, well, let me go back to get something else. I went back into the store and I found one of the ladies that I normally see there because this girl obviously was new or she was new. Um, and I told her, I asked her, let me, can you clear something up with these coupons? Because at the register, she's telling me one thing and I'm just trying to figure out what, what is right. So she's like, yeah. So I'm like, um, you can't use these, these, she's like, well, no, you're not supposed to use the two $5 together, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, she went and she talked to the, she called over to the, um, phone to the manager and the manager, she said, can you use the 20% off plus your $5 off? And the manager said, yes. So I went back up to the register and I said, well, the manager said that I can use, um, the 20% off with the $5 off. I can totally understand if you don't want to honor two $5 off. But to not use my 20 and my 5, that just doesn't make any sense. So she's like, well, I know it doesn't work because I just tried it. And I'm like, well, I would like to see you try it. Or I don't know what you, I mean, because that's she just told me that I, I can use it. So I don't know what we're going to do. But I just don't know. And so she's like, well, let me call her or whatever. So she called her and then she's like, yeah, you, you can do it. Just you have to do it another way. So she came up there and she assisted her. And she actually let me use both of my coupons plus the 20% off and the 40% off. So that was really great. Um, and like I said, I don't take no for an answer. And bottom line is, why wouldn't I be able to use my 20% off and my five? That that doesn't make any sense. And I drive too far to Michael's to sit there and not be able to use all my coupons. It just didn't make any sense. So I was not about to wait until the next day to spend another $5 or whatever. It didn't make no sense. So anyways... All in all, it worked out fine, and I got my stuff, and I got out of there. Um, 
I don't want to talk you ladies ears off and I will um, see you guys soon. Matter of fact, I'll be back with uh, um, Joanne's haul because surprisingly, they let me use my 20% off there too. So I'll be right back with that. Bye.